Hey guys, Mr. Kyle at Myers Mathematics. So today we're going to talk about, guess for it, factoring. Yeah, again, I know, it's crazy. So uh, today is, what, September uh, 17th? Wow, 17th already. It's crazy. In, uh, in three days, they're going to storm Area 51. Look out for that. Factoring. That's, that's like a real thing, apparently. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google it. Uh, but today we're going to do x squared. Let's see if I can remember. It is... We're on sixes or sevens? We're on sevens. No, we're on six. We're on six. Yeah, we're doing six. Plus or minus six x minus seven. And then x squared plus six x minus... Let's see, what would be the next thing? Sixteen. There we go. Okay, so those are the three that we're doing today. I'm doing three because it's an odd number day. Um, every odd number day I do three problems. Every even number day I do four. And then on Sundays, take a rest because it's, you know, the day of rest. So, you know, don't uh, I don't do videos on Sundays. No post on Sundays, Harry. Uh, yeah. Although I am thinking of creating videos and posting them, having them scheduled to post on a Sunday and doing that in the future, like a, like a series on, on spiritual kind of topics, but, uh, stay tuned to that. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's do this thing. X squared plus six X minus seven. So we want to factor. If we want to factor, then what we do is we take the last number and you split it up into th two things that multiply to give you that number. So 1 and 7 multiply to give me 7, but I don't want positive 7, I want negative. I want negative 7. So one of them has to be negative. So if I make the 1 negative, that's what works here. Negative 1, make the 7 positive. Negative 1 plus 7, which is the same thing as 7 minus 1, by the way, is 6. Positive 6. So it works. If I made the 7 negative, I would still subtract. Um... Right? If I made the 7 negative and the 1 positive, it would still subtract to give me 6, but it would be a negative 6, so it wouldn't work because I need positive 6, um, and nothing else works here. So that's those are the factors. And then, of course, since I have x's, I'm going to throw an x in front of each number, and I'm done. That's it. Right, let's go on to the next one here. So x squared minus 6x minus 7. So same thing. Got 1 and 7. One of them has to be negative, not both, not neither, because I have to get a negative 7. When I multiply a positive and a negative, I get a negative. So this time I'm going to make the 7 negative, because if I do, then I'll get a negative 6 when I subtract. So 6, x right there, x right there, and then I'm done. Right? And then for the last one, what was it? It was x squared plus 6, x minus 16 x squared plus 6x minus 16. So again, I'm going to multiply two things to get 16. So you can just kind of guess around and guess at it, but I usually just like to write out when I explain it. I like to write out each and every one. So 1 times 16 would be the first option. It's always the first option. 1 times that number is that number. Um, but 1 minus 16, I have to make one of these negative. If I subtract, I get 15. So that, that's a no-go. Um, so, so yeah, that, that's a no-go, that's not going to work, so I move on to the next thing. 2 and 8, 2 times 8 is 16. Well, that, that works. If I make the 2 negative, negative 2 plus 8 is 6. So that works, and of course negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. Um, there's other factors of 16, right, 4 and 4, but I don't even want to try those because I'd have to subtract and then I'd get 0, so that would just, that wouldn't work either. All right, so those are my factors. Those are the ones that work. Throw an X in front, and we're done. Um, since we have a little bit of time, it's not quite five minutes yet into the video, let's go ahead and foil this out. Remember, first, outer, inner, last, meaning the first two things, first times the first. So let's do let's do first. All right, so X squared. And then let me switch colors up again. So outer, right, outer times the outer, so plus 8X. Right, and then inner, inner times the inner, so minus 2x, excuse me, 
and then last times last, last times the last, so minus 16. And then I put them all together. All right, these two go together, and they give me 6x. That just drops down. That just drops down. And there we go. I know it works because I tried it out, and I've checked it, and it's all good to go. Peace out.